guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are home, Marcel and Rylan. And today we are trying a place we are super excited for. It says it right here. There you go. Flat iron. They only have one thing on the menu, and it's a flat iron steak. It's like a affordable, affordable steak restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Only 12 pounds for a nice big steak, and that sounded amazing to us. This is our first meal of the day, so we did an accidental intermittent. We did an accident, yeah, accidental intermittent fasting. But yeah, you order the steak, and then it comes with different sides that you can choose. We got the crispy bone marrow garlic mash. We also got the roasted Roast cauliflower, cauliflower with parsley, mint, and lemon. So that's gonna be delicious. To top it off, at the end of the meal, they bring you your check, and along with it, these meat cleavers, and you take them to the front, and you trade them for some ice cream for free, apparently. So, let's go get our ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> See. It's really good. <laughs> so, it's salted caramel and it's absolutely delicious. Amazing. Perfect. I am breaking my no dairy rule for this because it was free. How can you turn down free ice cream? Never turn down free ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here about to go ice skating outside of the Natural History Museum. They have their rink open a little and bit. It's Christmas themed. Yeah, there's a big Christmas tree that you skate around. I'm a bit nervous. I haven't done it in a while. She's been telling me, oh, I'm the best at ice skating. I'm so good at ice skating. He's going to take advantage of me saying that and take advantage of the fact that I'm not going to be good. And he's going to tease me. She's you're the one saying it. You're the one claiming it. If you fall, it's double as bad because look how there's water. There's water everywhere. You get hurt and you get a wet foot. How is it? It's it's ice. It's slippery. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think it all back. <laughs> yeah. I take it all back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> With another guy's self. <laughs> yeah, you feel you're grabbing on a stranger? Yeah. I have separated from the wall before her. Babe, I'm sorry. You can't do this to me. <laughs> so Here we go, guys. I'm showing her how it's done. <laughs> Please. You can do it. It is honestly unbelievable. How much she oversold herself. I have You're now been graduated to chaperone. <laughs> Come along, young one. I feel like I'm caboose. <laughs> Come on, bogey. <laughs> I can move very slowly, inch by inch. I'm almost there. That guy just fell in the back. Look how, how pretty this is. It's like a... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's it's a freaking war zone out here. Guys, that was so fun. It was so much fun and... Cute as heck. Yeah. Except I just also, hung on to him the whole time. Also very chaotic. It was like a war zone. Like kids flying around, people crying, people, people getting escorted off. Yeah, a girl got a concussion, I swear. Yeah. Oh, pretty brutal, but we didn't fall. Yeah, we so that did. was good. Because I held on to him. Yeah, the master, the master skater. If you watched last week's vlog, you know about this place that we're at right now. Shaq Fuyu, one of our amazing subscribers, Andrew, recommended this place to us, and ever since we tried it last week, she I dream about it every night. It's mentions it twice a day. Talking about the pork bun especially. I'm just dreaming about the dang French toast that they have here. So we're getting some food in and then we have the last activity on today's date night, which is... Something I'm really excited about. We're gonna go see Dune, which I've been super excited to finally freaking watch. It's been out for like a week and we haven't gone to the movies in a long time. Mm -hmm. 
a long time. So I'm excited to like sit down in an actual movie theater and watch an amazing movie. I am so freaking happy to be back in the movies. <laughs> this is the real experience. <sighs> Alright guys, so as you can see, oh, <laughs> and there's Ryan. <laughs> we are sitting here editing and for some reason, only God knows why, this specific clip, the audio completely just decided to disappear. We're super bummed about it, but we wanted to hop on here and explain that this morning we are at St. Catherine's Dock because it was recommended to us by one of our subscribers and we are specifically sitting at Emilia's. Which was absolutely amazing. amazing. We were thinking about going back there tomorrow actually because the pasta was so mm -hmm. freaking unbelievably good. I got the pesto pasta which was amazing and it was vegan which I mean. Oh yeah it was vegan. That's a plus. Yeah. So that's cool. I got the bolognese which was actually slow cooked for like four hours. The and opposite of what I got. <laughs> yeah completely not vegan. <laughs> it was amazing and then we went to explore. Enjoy the video. Yeah, but we walked around there for a while and took it all in. There's a lot of pretty sights. Now we're on the bus, headed to another place that's right nearby that we've wanted to check out. It's called Box Park Shore Ditch. So here we are. It's so cool. Yeah, so freaking cool. It's basically like they converted old warehouse shipping containers, like those big metal shipping containers that you see on boats. And they rent out the space. Each little one is a store yeah. or like or food. Like, I just saw like a salon. I just, just right there was a barber shop. Wow. So, okay, I'm getting distracted. It, it, <laughs> it's really cool though. We're just gonna walk around and explore. Yes. St. Catherine's Dock, but right next to Box Park Shoreditch is the best Indian food you can find in London, apparently. And it's called Dishoom. We just got I our love. drinks and they're amazing. He got a chai and yeah, it's the show. best chai we've ever had. Got the house chai. Yeah. She's got a lemon ginger tea. tea. And we ordered a bunch of small plates to try everything here yeah. because London is supposed to do Indian food right. Yes. <laughs> wow. All right, so far, this place is just insane. Right now, I'm gonna try the spicy lamb chops which have been marinated in lemon, garlic, and mint for 24 hours. It's nice and crispy. <laughs> Guys, I shit you not, this is by far the best lamb I've ever had in my life. Babe. Yeah. Yeah, take a bite. Is that not the best thing over 
going to take this here, garlic naan, dip it in the black dal, which is their specialty dish here. We each ordered one of these instead of one to share because I we love dal. I didn't want to share with him. Yeah, it was really her. She didn't want to share. <laughs> here, um, here we go. Dude. And the naan is so good. Wow. If you're ever in London, or if you live here in London and you haven't somehow tried this place, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh yeah. So good. Probably the best Indian food I've ever had. Good morning guys. We're here hiding out at a coffee shop because it's super gloomy outside today. Yeah. And we're just in the mood for a relaxing day. Mm -hmm. So there's some things that we haven't seen here in London that we wanted to do today that are all indoors. And they're free. Which is definite plus. <laughs> a very big plus because we spent a lot of money this weekend. Oh yeah. Let's not talk about As you can see, the view at the top of this thing is beautiful. There's some kind of controversy surrounding this place because apparently they spent like two million pounds of... It was like, yeah, it was like two million pounds. Two million pounds of their tax dollars, the people who live here in London, uh, to build this. And then they were charging people... 650 per person to yeah. come actually like walk onto it and see it. And there's like an exhibit down below and everything. But still, they were like, really? You take our freaking tax dollars, you build it, and then you charge us to go see it? So then they made it free. Yeah, so there was enough complaints <laughs> to make it free. But there's stairs that go downstairs to this like, really cool exhibit that we're yeah. gonna go check out. So let's go see that part. spot that we just got to right now it was very far it took us like an hour and a half yeah right we traveled long and far yeah because it was recommended to us by another one of you guys which i don't know why we even do anything that you guys don't recommend i know right you guys <laughs> never lead us wrong this spot is called god's own junkyard right now they have a brewery on site so i'm having a beer I have some She's snacks. having some chickpeas. The fun part of it though is right across and we got a little glimpse before we started shooting this but it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like basically this artist who's been collecting neon signs and works of art. He actually collected them on behalf of David LaChapelle who's an artist I love. He's actually the guy who designed Travis Scott's album artwork. Wow. From Astroworld. Wow. Yeah, you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, fun fact, it's like a whole exhibit in there full of different collections of his. It's going to be freaking amazing, honestly. Yeah, it looks amazing, so I'm really excited. Yeah, me too. 